Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, Skylum Software updated Luminar AI from version 1.0.0 to 1.0.1. Now, usually I wouldn't do a what's new video on an update that is a 0.0.1 update because usually those types of updates are just maintenance updates. You know, new camera profiles, lens profiles, bug fixes, nothing significant has been added to the application usually. In this case, I want to do this video. Nothing new has been added, but cosmetically things have changed slightly. And I'm thinking that if you are new to Luminar and you just download Luminar AI, you're going to get this newer version. And if you go on YouTube and start looking up some how-to videos, the how-to videos are going to be slightly different than what you're working with. And you may be, be a bit confused. So I want to go over these cosmetic changes. Now, they're calling this a soft rollout of the update. That means not everyone's going to get it at the same time because they don't want their server to crash. So it'll be rolled out over the next few days. If you haven't received it yet, you may be able to force the update if you go up to the Luminar AI menu on a Mac and go down to check for updates. I believe on a Windows computer, check for updates is under the help menu, although I'm not 100% sure. If you have Luminar AI on a Windows computer, please mention in the comments below where that check for updates is. I would appreciate it. Now, disappointingly, there's no new camera profiles in this update and there's no new lens profiles. There are 111 bug fixes across both the Mac OS X and Windows platforms, so that's good. But mainly it's just some cosmetic changes and some of them are very minor. For example, one of them, if you go up to this plus sign, in the past you just get a, a, a list. Now if you click on it, you get larger icons, add folder, add image. So that is different. Also, if you're in the templates area of Luminar AI, over on the right-hand side, this for this photo, they now have a scroll-like arrow. Before, they didn't have that. And if you had a Mac, you had to like drag on your mouse. And on a PC, I think they had actually a little like scroll bar at the bottom that you could barely see. So um, now they have these arrows, all right? <laughs> all right, the other thing they've did is they've added tooltips uh, throughout the application. So if you hover, hover over some items, you'll get a tooltip like templates, my collection. If we go to the edit panel and I go to like the color um, section here and I hover over this, it'll say reset tool, add mask, disable tool, and so on. Now, the major cosmetic change, or at least the largest cosmetic change in this application is that they've taken all the tools and they put them all in a scrollable list. In the past, of course, you had panels. You had different tabs over here on the right that you would click on, and each of these groupings of tools would be in their own section. So you'd have to click on Essentials, click on Creative, click on Portrait, and then you'd get the tools. All the tools are still there. They're just all in this list. So Skylum in their infinite wisdom thought this was a better way to present them to us. So you now have them in this scrollable list. You can't see they're color coded. So you have different colors for essentials, creative, portrait, and professional. They also tried to highlight the AI tools a little better by making the AI a little more prominent next to a tool so you could see it a little better. So you have this new scrollable list. And this is the main reason why I was doing the video because like I mentioned, if you're new to this and you're just looking at videos on YouTube by somebody teaching you um, Luminar, you'll see them be clicking buttons over here on the far right that are now no longer there. Another thing they've changed uh, slightly, the tool works the same way. It's just cosmetically, it's different. If you go to the toning tool, they now have buttons. Uh, this matches more the style of the other tools where they have buttons. So you have a shadows button and a highlights button. So that's new or changed in this uh, version of Luminar AI. And um, the other thing they've done is if you're not an English speaker, they've improved the translation uh, of Luminar AI on other, for other languages. So if you're using Luminar AI, you know, English isn't your native language, you're using something else. Hopefully the translations have improved as well. So again, like I mentioned, this is still kind of a main, it's a maintenance update. So there's really nothing new added here. They have promised that 
before uh, the end of the first quarter of 2021, so that's the end of March, that there's going to be a significant update. And included in that significant update, uh, update, among other things, is something that many people are waiting for, and that is sky reflections. So if you replace a sky in an image that has uh, still glass-like water in it, Luminar will automatically put the mirror image of that sky in the water. Um, again, that's not out yet, but they're promising it uh, by the end of March. So hopefully uh, that comes out soon, and when they do come out with that, I definitely will do a video talking about it and anything new that's in that version, and I will demo it as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.